Hello friends, I am Rahul and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this new video, we will see some interview questions on the AWS ELB. Let's start with the questions. Our first question is, what is AWS ELB? A load balancer distributes workloads across multiple computer resources, such as virtual servers. Using a load balancer increases the availability and fault tolerance of your applications. You can add and remove computer resources from your load balancer as your needs change without disrupting the overall flow of requests to your applications. You can configure health checks which monitors the health of the compute resources so that the load balancer sends requests only to the healthy ones. You can also offload the work of encryption and decryption to your load balancer so that your compute resources can focus on their main work. Elastic Load Balancing supports the following load balancers, application load balancers, network load balancers, gateway load balancers and classic load balancers. Next question is types of AWS ELB. There are four types of load balancers are available in AWS for your use. The first load balancer is a classic load balancer. This is a previous generation load balancer. The second load balancer is application load balancer. The third load balancer is network load balancer. And the last load balancer is gateway load balancer. You can choose the best solution as per your requirements. Next question is, what is application load balancer? Application load balancer operates at the request level, that is layer 7. Routing traffic to targets like EC2 instances, containers, IP addresses and Lambda functions based on the content of the request. Ideal for advanced load balancing of HTTP and HTTPS traffic. Application load balancer provides advanced request routing targeted at delivery of modern applications. Application load balancer provides advanced request routing targeted at delivery of modern application architectures including microservices and container based applications. Application load balancer simplifies and improves the security of your application by ensuring that the latest SSL TLS ciphers and protocols are used at all times. Next question is what is network load balancer? Network load balancer works on the networking protocols like TCP, UDP and TLS. Here we can route the traffic based on the ports instead of application protocols like HTTP and HTTPS. Normally load balancer routes the traffic to the target groups and from the target groups traffic is routed to the end resources like EC2 instances, containers, IP addresses and Lambda functions. So these listeners group makes network load balancer different from other load balancers. Next question is, what is Gateway Load Balancer? Gateway Load Balancers enable you to deploy, scale and manage virtual appliances such as firewalls, intrusion detection and prevention systems. It combines a transparent network gateway and distribute traffic while scaling your virtual appliances with the demand. A Gateway Load Balancer operates at the third layer of the OSI model, the network layer. It listens for all IP packets across all ports and forwards the traffic to the target groups that specified in the listener rule. Gateway load balancers use gateway load balancer endpoints to securely exchange traffic across VPC boundaries. A gateway load balancer endpoint is a VPC endpoint that provides private connectivity between virtual appliances in the service provider VPC and application servers in the service consumer VPC. You deploy the gateway load balancer in the same VPC as the virtual appliances. You register the virtual appliances with a target group for a gateway load balancer. Next question is, what is classic load balancer? The classic load balancer is a previous generation load balancer. It works on HTTPS, HTTP and network protocols like TCP, UDP 
and forward the traffic in a round robin pattern to the target hosts this load balancer doesn't support the target groups and hence we have to manually register the targets with elb here we can configure the health check to check the health of the target machines we can also integrate this load balancer with the auto scaling group so we don't have to manually register the targets next question is how elb works a load balancer serves as a single point of contact for plants the load balancer distributes incoming application traffic across multiple targets such as ec2 instances in multiple availability zones this increases the availability of your application you can add one or more listeners to your load balancers a listener checks for connection request from client using the protocol and port that you configure the rules that you define for a listener determine how the load balancer routes the request to its registered targets each rule consists of a priority one or more actions and one or more conditions when the conditions for a rule are met then its action are performed you must define a default rule for each listener and you can optionally define additional rules each target group routes request to one or more register targets such as ec2 instance using the protocol and port number that you specify you can register a target with multiple target groups you can configure health checks on a per target group basis health check are performed on all target registered to a target group that is specified in a listener rule next question is what is the target group each target group is used to route request to one or more registered targets when you create each listener rule you specify a target group and conditions when a rule condition is met traffic is forwarded to the corresponding target group you can create different target groups for different types of request for example create one target group for general request and other target groups for request to the microservices for your application next question is what is health check when we add a target to the target groups we need to specify a health check to check the health of the target server we have to mention a specific path and then elb checks the status code by accessing the path if the host returns the success code then elb forward the incoming traffic to the target host else it will mark the host as unhealthy and stop sending the traffic to the unhealthy host next question is how health check works in the health check in the health check advanced settings we have to mention the health check thresholds like healthy threshold unhealthy threshold interval timeout and success codes elb monitors the request of the health checks as per the thresholds mentioned in the given interval if the host server is not responding then it waits till timeout time and then declares the host as unhealthy by default 200 code is mentioned but we can change it or we can update it with any other code as per our requirement thanks for watching the video please like share and subscribe to my channel to watch more devops and cloud related videos